Well, as you've seen, I decided to do something a bit different and uh, show you some of my garden. Um, that's just a tiny, tiny sample of it. Mm. And this, this is just a pimple that I was picking at. Okay. <clears throat> it is like a gnat or one of those little fly type bugs that likes to get right in your eye. Um, uh, yeah, as far as bugs, I might have might have mentioned in some of the video I've shared that uh, mosquitoes really like me and I don't like them back. <laughs> um, I made um, some stuff with uh, essential oils and beeswax and what have you and uh, it works. works well. So, used, uh, like, I did a little bit of research and used a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, it's effective and it's not bad for you. So, there you go. Um, yeah, it's, it's been busy. I... I've shot video and it just, um, probably not going to use any of it. I deleted a whole bunch of it. I just use my phone. It takes up a lot of room. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, I was like, it, it's been hot until here recently. And it has, um, you know, I've just been doing uh, there was no time to stop and talk, and when I was, I was flustered and tired, and so, I'm like, just didn't feel like quality stuff, and, I mean, I want to be honest, but I don't want to be a drag either, so, here I am, out in my front garden, in my sun garden, which has, has taught me a lesson, um, I, to water at night, that's, yeah, it was so hot, um, the days that I did plant stuff out here, and then it, it stayed hot, and I was trying to do so much, not so just here, but, you know, just with the kids and, and everything, and, um, like, we really, you hear extra noise, the dogs on the other side of the garden, um, we really worked hard getting this in, and, um, and when we did that, shh, quiet, when we did that, uh, we neglected other, like our normal routine, my husband and I, and so there was ketchup for that, plus, um, you could feel the heat in the house, and even with the air conditioner, and it just, uh, you know, kind of, it's hard on you. Then my husband actually, accidentally, he had a rough night, and, um, kind of, his whole week was hard, and then, but anyhow, um, so I had turned a sprinkler on out here, and it worked okay. I think it would have been fine if I was doing it later in the evening, and, um, yeah, mostly if I was doing it later in the evening, but, uh, as you saw in the video, my tomato plants they were all like curling up. The one that was really, really healthy was one I just planted today and the, the large basil, I'd planted that today, um, which I did. I have the built 
beds on one side and then on the other side I have um, some of the decorative cement edging that they had around the trees out there which I talked about that before actually um, and I have half circles all along my yard fence um, which you know I uh, the kids and I put some seeds in there and they didn't do anything. I was really surprised. It was for the uh, snow peas and sugar snap peas. Uh, yeah, I'm like counting things in my head. Yeah, I did. And then also, um, we had put pole beans and the wax beans and one of those was one of the one of those varieties because we put two of each both of those have sprouted nothing else has oh if you, if you see that little white floaty thing back there i don't know what these bugs are i don't know if they're good for my garden or not but i'm very um amused by them um because they look like little fairies it's really cool. They just look like a little white fairy floating about. Um, and I got some pictures. I don't think I've gotten any video. I've, I've tried. It was too slow. So anyways, I... Yeah, uh, the tomatoes, they... They grew a little bit. It's, everything started to look good. And then um, I might have even forgot to water went too long without watering um so yeah I was just not as attentive as I could have been and on the other hand uh my timing just wasn't great so that that happens uh it's kind of hard not to be discouraged though it's uh yeah it, it it could ruin my day sometimes if I come out here and things look good then I am I'm delighted if I come out here and things seem to be not doing so well it is not pleasant so I am very happy with um, my patty pan squash I was kind of afraid I killed them when I transplanted them from the back to the front and then uh, and the reason that I moved them was for the lemon cucumber and those are doing well uh, three of them are uh, one of them kind of looks a little uh, discolored earlier I don't remember what it means so yeah, I'm trying to think so the the tomatoes that I planted and I actually I put some here, some there, just kind of fitting them in where I could. They are, um, I, th I don't, I didn't expect them to last that long because of the little tiny pots that I still had them in. It's all stuff I started, so that's cool. You know, thinking about the amount of plants I have right now that I started, that does make me feel pretty good. Uh, I, my okra started doing really well. They jumped right up, and then a, some sort of bug got on them, just from one day to the next, and kind of, kind of put a hurt on them a little bit. They're just right there. I'm looking at them. Um, they're still growing, and I got the bug off, so hopefully they'll bounce back. Um, I don't like love love okra, but be really neat to see them grow that's uh, I'm just I'm really looking forward to all the experiences and I'm trying to just embrace the experiences because I've never done this before like not on this level and I've said that before um, yeah I think this will be a big learning year I might get like uh, a nice amount of something to eat 
but what I'm learning is going to be so valuable in the fall and next year and then uh, you know my plants my grapevine my strawberries those are going to be so much better next year and my raspberries oh man the golden raspberries they're looking great um, I'm really happy with those um, which I yeah I was come across something somewhere and apparently um, something with like the old growth produces fruit in like June and the new growth will put off fruit in September I think so that'll be neat. I, you know, probably just a few handfuls of stuff, but I'll take that. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that kind of sums it up. Um, and hopefully I'll get back to doing something more regularly. I really, I should just be dedicated and give myself one or two days a week to put some videos out there. I I think I would personally benefit from that sort of a routine and oh, I forgot the other word I was going to use, but yeah. If you see this growing behind me, this was this mystery plant that I kept trying to figure out what it was and it is called um I believe it's the lance leaf tickweed or tick seed. Hmm. It makes a nice little flower on it. I don't know if it's useful for anything, but I had a spot uh, that I thought some flowers would be would be fun, would be nice to put there and stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully this will be something really nice to show off uh, in a month or so. It's the heat kind of stunted some things, I think. But, yeah, it's it's still nice. I do need to go cook some food. Oh no, I'm sitting on the edge. That wood's hard. Um, oh, I have to, I have to start dinner and bottle feed a entire litter of orphan kittens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty experienced with that. Like, it, even if I didn't have cats, somebody with cats would talk to somebody who would tell me and I would end up bottle feeding a litter of kittens. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's some fun stories there. I could share. I could share a little bit about that sort of thing. Orphan babies, random orphan baby animals. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah. Bye. <laughs>